Hello Twin Flames and welcome to this DM to the F reading for Saturday. My name's Liz, I'm waving in the camera there and this is Guided by Angels and every day I'm shuffling and I'm going to bring in the Divine Masculine Dark Truths today to do a message from your twin. But I'm also going to complement this deck with the Divine Yin Yang Oracle for Lovers Messages of Shadow and Light by the amazing Cherie from Divine Visions and I'm going to bring in the Divine Lover Oracle cards by Bloom and Arrow. So let's Let's see what the masculines want to say. So thank you, angels. Wow, jump straight out of the deck. Amazing. So I've got one card standing out on its own. And then all these cards flew out of the deck there. And then we're going to shuffle the Divine Lover Oracle. Look at that one card coming straight out. There you go. And we're going to use the Divine Yin Yang for Lover's Oracle. And these are a circular deck. They're very powerful. One card. Okay. Let's see what we need to know then. So look at this. The masculine is saying, let me message you. So he's planning on messaging you. And look at this. I've got angel bums. I'm messaging you. I'm messaging you. So he's saying, let me message you. If I don't reply, that means when you think he's ghosting you or, you know, he's ignoring you. He's saying, if I don't reply, I'm planning. I'm planning what to say. So this is reminding you, Divine Feminine, to not blow everything out of proportion in your mind and stress out and make everything a hundred times worse by causing yourself pain. He's saying, I get stressed when you message me again asking what's wrong. We've all done that, haven't we? Sent message after message after message when there's been no reply. And it's caused a spiraling effect of struggle. He's saying, nothing's wrong. Nothing was wrong, but now it is because I feel paranoid. I've done something wrong. Don't rush me. So he's saying, don't rush me. I'll message you when I'm ready and it will be the right time for us both because I'll say the right things and do it the right way and show you the love. And I am messaging you. There's so much I want to say. So expect a message from me soon. So he's saying to you, you know, when... He seems to be avoiding you or ignoring you. He's actually processing. And this is what I say all the time on this journey. And I don't say it to kind of justify their behavior, you know, or pacify anybody. I say it because it's the truth. You know, I've learned it through my journey. I've learned it through lots of conversations. Now I'm in union with my own twin and lots of dealing with the journey throughout years and years. So, this is the truth, you know, it's, he's not ignoring you, you do matter. And he's saying, of course you matter, look at this. Our friendship matters to me. And I hope we can work on bringing that back stronger and better than it was before. And you might be thinking, well, what about the love and the intimacy and all the other things? Well, the friendship is the glue that holds it together. And he's saying, of course you matter to me. So he's saying, you matter to me. So if I seem to be ignoring a few, if I'm not replying... I'm planning what to say. I will message you because you matter to me. And I am waking up. I see signs about you and our situation. And it freaks me out sometimes how accurate they are. So he's waking up to what this journey is. And remember, you know, if he isn't replying to you, it's because he's waking up. It's because he's maybe a little bit freaked out by the love, the intensity of it. So give him time. And he does look at you. He does watch you. He does look at your social media. He does look at your pictures. Because he's saying, wow, in those clothes, looking like that, wearing that smile, wow. So maybe you've changed your profile picture. Or you've put a picture on social media out and about or looking good. And he's saying, wow, you are amazing. You're beautiful. You're stunning. You're attractive. You are gorgeous. You know, in those clothes, looking like that, wearing that smile, wow. So really what he's saying is it doesn't matter what you're wearing. It doesn't matter what you look like as long as you're wearing that smile. Wow. And he's saying, I'm planning. I fantasize about showing you off to my family and friends. I want everyone to see us together and how happy we are. I'm so proud of you. So if he seems to be ignoring you or not replying to you, he's planning, he's processing. And he's saying to you, I'm so sorry. I wasn't there when you needed me. I wanted to be, but I was afraid of letting you down. And, you know, these are the times when we find solace within ourselves and with source. Because if he wasn't there when you needed him, maybe you were going through something. Maybe you needed, you know, a helping hand or you were going through something in your body physically or 
it was a special occasion. Maybe it was your birthday and he didn't come forward or message you. He didn't reply to you. And he said, I'm sorry, I wasn't there for you. I wanted to be, but I didn't want to let you down. And that's because of his own failure. He feels like a failure sometimes. He doesn't want to hurt you. And he's saying, I need to release things. Something needs to be released before we can be together. There are situations in my life right now that I'm working to free myself from. Please look through the illusions of karmic bonds and know that in spiritual truth, I am bonded only to you. So if he isn't replying to you, but he's in a karmic situation or you know, he's dealing with an addiction or he's in fear. He's saying, I need to release this before I can be with you. Remember, our bond is strong. Please don't leave me. So the darkness is, don't leave me. You know, the darkness is those fearful moments where he fears that because of his own behavior and actions, you're going to move on. But the light element of it is higher self is saying, I know through the signs I see and the synchronicities and the way I feel that we are even more connected, even connected when we're apart. So he knows that I know we're connected even when we're apart. And he's saying to you, I can't move on because I love you. And I don't want to move on because I love you. And that came through in the masculine reading today. So your masculine is begging and pleading there. Don't leave me. Don't move on. Please wait for me while I release all the things that I need to. I am sorry that I wasn't there. I am sorry I wanted to be, but I was afraid. And I am planning about introducing you to my family, my friends, and showing the world how happy we are. Because you are amazing, I love you and I'm so proud of you and I'm so attracted to you and I care because you matter to me and I'm waking up, I'm seeing signs, it freaks me out because I know that we are connected even when we're apart and you do matter to me, I want to make the friendship right, I want to work on the connection, the glue that holds it together and I am going to message you because there's so much I want to say. So don't get stressed out. If you've messaged them or you're waiting for them and they don't seem to be coming forward because he's just planning and processing and preparing. And he's saying, I don't I don't mean to ignore you. You know, I'm just planning. Just don't reply again and again because it stresses me because then I feel paranoid. I think I'm failing you. I feel like I've done something wrong and I feel rushed. And I want to come forward when I feel at ease and happy and at peace because that's how everything will be okay. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.